Today, I am going to be showcasing and demonstrating the operating condition of this Minolta Maxim STSI 35mm beginner single lens reflex camera. It will be available on my eBay store. I have two batteries here. These are Energizer 123 or CR2 lithium batteries that are used to operate the camera. I have a lens hood for this Minolta Autofocus Zoom 35 to 80 millimeter f4 to 5.6 lens. This is a 49 millimeter snap-on lens cap. The lens cap has two ridges on the side here that block the lens hood from being inserted onto the lens. So you either have the lens hood on the camera or the lens cap on the camera. You can't have both at the same time. So be aware of that. I'm going to insert the batteries here. With the positive terminals facing up. You heard that motor wind. That was um, the indication that the camera is on. I'm going to put the lens hood on. It just snaps into place like that. And now we can turn the camera on. Okay. So the camera is now on. You heard that um, motor sound. So I'll turn it off. That's off. That's on. Now you can see that it's in the program mode and the flash is auto with the red eye reduction on. So I'm going to go over to the mode selection which is controlled by this dial here. And I am going to fire the flash with the red eye reduction off first and I'm going to force the camera to fire in the manual mode. So I'm going to switch it from program to manual which is done by pressing the function button in and rotating the wheel on the front of the camera. Now we're in the manual mode. We can operate the flash by popping it up there. And I'm going to turn the autofocus motor off so the flash will fire and the lens doesn't have to find the focus before it takes the picture. So the only way I can show the flash is if I take a picture with the camera upside down. You saw the flash in the light, you saw the flash in the dark lighting. Now I'm going to turn on the red eye reduction, which is done by moving the dial to the eye and clicking the function button and moving that same wheel to on. And it will give a pre-flash. And what that does is it dilates the pupils of the eyes and gets that um, red color out of the eyelids once the picture is taken. So that's the red eye reduction flash. The ISO is selected. with the function button. So ISO is from 6 to 6400. So that can be manually selected in the manual mode. In the program mode, it will automatically read the film speed from the DX coding on the film. So, 
now that we've tested the flash I am going to try the self timer I'm going to turn the flash off I'm just trying to figure out how to turn the flash off I don't want it to fire again All right, I got it. So flash is off. I'm gonna try the self timer. See the red light shining and it will blink rapidly when the cycle completes. And then we'll take the photo. Okay. Now I'm going to take the lens off. I'm going to inspect the inside of the camera. This camera also features a quartz date, but I do not have a CR2025 button cell battery to test the date selection. I'm pretty sure that it does not run up to the year 2022, so it would be pointless to check that anyway. So this is that. Taking a picture with the lens off of the camera. Now we can inspect the lens. Very nice zoom. Very nice focus. Upon looking inside of the lens, I see little snow fungus or haze. As a matter of fact, I see no fungus or haze. That's just a fingerprint. So I will be cleaning that off before I ship it out. It did look like fungus and haze until I s noticed that there was a fingerprint smudge on the lens. So no fungus, no haze, just a fingerprint. I'll get rid of that before I ship it out. There is a um, On the inside, I was struggling to get the door open there, I apologize. On the inside, there is little to no light seal material, except for the canister damper, where the, canis the film canister will rest. And that foam is pretty nice, because the ridges on the door mate nicely and smoothly with the ridges on the camera. So if I take another picture, you can see the shutter operate nicely. So everything works as intended. And when you close the camera back, it will uh, sense that you loaded film, even if you didn't. And it will wind the motor to advance the film to the first frame. Turn the camera off. We can see that the strap is nice. Um, it's not degraded in any way. The Minolta Maxim logo is still there. There is also a viewfinder shield that fits over the viewfinder to block out the light. And it goes over like that. And you just take it off by moving it up and over. I'm going to take the batteries out now because that has concluded the testing. The serial number on this camera is 9601272728. So be aware of that if you're looking for a particular serial number that indicates that the camera was made in a specific year. There is almost no issues with the camera cosmetically aside from a small paint rub. Looks like brown paint. There is no bleeding on the uh, crystal display on the top. And the front of the camera looks very nice. You can still see the sort of marbleization in the paint. So it's in very good condition. The lens serial number is Five seven nine four one three seven two. 
So this will be available on my eBay store for purchase. It'll be at a lower price because it's a beginner camera or for a vacation or for somebody who wants to get into film photography at not an expensive price and has the capability of adding and changing the lenses out. So be aware that I have other cameras listed on my eBay store and check those out as well. Thank you very much for watching.